Good morning, everyone. It is a wonderful day today, other than I have to go back to work. It's raining, and I have a dog eating my skirt. <laughs> other than that, it's a beautiful, wonderful day. You know why? Because, you see that? That's like my bright idea. See that? That's my light bulb above my head. <laughs> Um, we do have the Kroger ad and the JC ad, but I'll do that in a minute. I am so excited to let you all know that we are moving forward uh, with our exotic chicken and breeding program next year by getting some things done right now. Now, with building prices up so high, material and the craziness of that, as well as trying to get out of getting a permit, a building permit, but having a good chicken barn facility and a place where I can brood my chickens. This was my decision. These are prefab um, buildings. This one is Hoosier Sheds. Now there's all kinds of them all over the place and they make these little pre-made buildings. Um, sometimes they come in a kit and you put them together. Um, sometimes you get them and they're already made. They will put them on a trailer and they'll put them where you want them. And that's where what this place is. And I'm real excited because even though the buildings are a little small for my price range, because I would love to get the bigger buildings, I have decided I will go ahead and get the base of the building. Just get the building and then have someone come in and customize it and possibly build onto it when we need to. So I think this is the solution to my building issue because you're looking at about $13,000 for a 16 by 20 pole barn or building like that. That's a lot of money. Not to mention you have to go through all the rigmarole of getting a permit. With this, it's brought onto your property and then you can embellish or change or finish carpentry, all of this work. And I think in the long run, this will be a cheaper idea. I'm trying to keep my costs down to about $6,000. So the average size of the one that I'm going to be getting will be around uh, 12 by 30, 12 by 32, something like that, or the 12 by 28, depending on which style I decide. And then I'll have someone come in and finish that off. Not to mention, I might find I might have found someone to help me with the old summer kitchen. I am absolutely thrilled about that. I have a lot of things to be happy for today. Just lots of things, and the weight is off my shoulder. So, there you go. The plans are in order so that I can breed new chicken breeds next year. Now, since I don't have Odin, I'm going to have to get one of the roosters that I that I bred last last this past spring which would be an americana brahma mix and i really wish we could have kept frizzle but that didn't happen so anyway chicken progress on the homestead is looking very good now if you want a hint on my new favorite chicken that i've been looking at it's called favorol f-a-v-o-r e-l-l-e -L -L -E. it is a french breed and there are some special things about that chicken so if you want to learn about it, go look it up. <laughs> They're neat. Okay, so let's get to the Kroger ad. Now, I didn't have the Kroger ad with me yesterday when I did the quick go through, but um, here we go. We have it. There are some good savings on clothing, too, if you have a marketplace, Kroger, so on and so forth. Now, some of these prices I did mention yesterday, but I'm going to go through them again. Fresh Kroger ground beef. Now this is the 80% lean. So this is one of the higher top ground beefs. It is in the pre-roll package. It is the three pound package, but it makes it $5.37. Quit. Morgana's, come here, come here. They wanna see you. They wanna see you? Do they wanna see you tear my paper up? <laughs> there she is guys, she's huge. She's huge. Yeah, she loves me. Because I've been sweating and I'm like salty. Now leave me alone. 
Okay, so yes, the three pound ground beefs are fantastic, especially if you're stocking up meat. The packaging is perfect for the freezer. Um, now, if it had been a like 70% lean, what I would recommend instead of cutting it into one pound packages, one and a half pound packages because it's going to shrink down with a lot of water. So fantastic stock up for your freezer, these three pound rolls. Seriously. If my freezer wasn't full, I'd be stocking up on it now. Okay. Um, the butter, $1.99. That's a good freezer price for this coming baking season. <laughs> Would you stop? Uh, Nabisco crackers, um, $1.88 a piece. That is a fantastic price. And there is a 75 cent off of two out there. Um, you might even find something in your digitals. <laughs> this dog is crazy. Um, vitamins. Buy one, get one free. There's fish oil, magnesium, vitamin C, nature made vitamins. There might be coupons available in some of the older inserts for that. I'm not sure. Assorted pork chops, 99 cents a pound. Um, this is one of those things where I would go and get like a, when the loins are on sale and have them cut them to make my pork chops. But you know, if you like bone in pork chops, I do crave them every now and again, kind of like a shake and bake thing and I helped. Okay. Let's see here. Um, there are some buy one, get one freeze. I think the Heinz ketchup is a buy one, get one free in some areas, but not mine. Of course we have that great free milk, um, deal with the Kellogg cereal. You know, it's four for eight and a free gallon of milk. Plus you have dollar off two coupons and you can do this deal um, several times depending on how much you need to stock up. Um, at my Kroger, you can only use three light coupons. So you should probably do that in two different transactions so you could get your milk for free. That would give you two free gallons of milk and a lot of cereal. Okay. Um, the Weekly Digitals. This is also a really good deal here, too. It makes the Tide and Downy um, $3.99. So with that digital, if you have your um, Procter & Gamble, you can have paper coupons to combine with that. Now, I have something else that is going to combine with this. I have Savings for You Digitals that will also tack onto this. And I had someone stop me at work. And she's like, I need Tide, I need Downy, I need Bounce, I need all this. And I'm like, hold one moment, please. So I will be doing just a detergent haul sometime this weekend. And I'm going to show you how all of those coupons stacked with the digitals, the two different digitals and the paper coupons. I'm going to show you how I got some Tide and Downy and maybe some Bounce really super cheap. Um, but like I said, I'm shopping for someone on that one. So the cost to that one will be reimbursed. Okay. Um, Hebrew National Beef Franks or buy one, get one free. I know they're quite expensive, but if you only eat beef um, hot dogs, that's a good deal. The Chex Mix and Bugles are 10 for 10. I know I have enough inserts in there somewhere to dig through and find out which one had the 50 cent off two. That is a good deal. I think I'm good on the Chex Mixes. So I'm going to get a bunch of bugles and I'm going to get my husband some squeezy cheese and he can just have snacks all winter. <laughs> we st <laughs> he had a squeezy cheese and it expired. Um, 2017, I think was <laughs> the expiration date and we both tried it and don't keep squeezy cheese, aerosol cheese that long. It's not good. Okay. Um, now, the Sargento slices are going to be $2.49. That's also going to be the Kraft shredded cheese um, price as well. There are some coupons. There's 75 or 50, 50 cents off of two. It's not a cheese buy for me, but, you know, if it is for you, the Betty Crocker cookie and brownie mix, buy one, get one free. Um, French's mustard and Frank's hot sauce and wishbone dressings are buy one, get one freeze. The Spice Island spices are buy one, get one freeze. This would be a good time to go through your spices to see if you needed any exotic spices that you can't pick up at Aldi or um, the other discount stores 
like Rural King is really good with spices, like 89 cents a container for them, really good prices, but they don't have the more exotic spices. So if you needed some exotic spices, this would be the time to stock those up. Um, if you're learning how to cook new dishes or, you know, you just want to add some pizzazz to your food with those spices. Now, the Kroger Sour Cream Cottage Cheese and Dipper, four for five. You know, we're used to getting it for 89 cents or 79 cents a container. It's a little pricey, but if you need it, you need it, right? Okay. Now, uh, the Briar Ice Cream is three for ten. This past week would have been the best deal to get it. Um... Now the Kroger ice cream is $1.88, not a bad deal. Let's see what else. I know I'm just skipping around here, but this makes me so excited. <laughs> um, oh, there are more digitals. Um, there is the fresh baked cookies for $1.99. That's a weekly digital used three times, but you can use it more than three times. You can use it three times per transaction. Uh, the cinnamon to or the General Mills Giant cereals are $1.99. There is a dollar off too. These are the giant sized ones. This is a fantastic buy for those. Um, I might do a couple more Cheerios for the ducks. I don't know. But then again, I might do them Rice Krispies and then I'm just going to have lots of cereal. That's just all there is to it. Uh, the Kroger Makeup Removing and Cleansing Cloths are 99 cents. Now, this is the time where, like, one of these deals would be good for a girl's um, stocking stuffer. 99 cents for some facial wipes and cloths. Young girls need to learn how to keep their faces clean when they're using makeup. Um, what else? Da -da 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 -da. You'll just have to... Oh! Um, the Frito Lay Lays and Mike Sells are $1.77 each, but you have to buy three. Not a bad deal. Now, I used my 75 cent off of one digital uh, last week when I bought some Lays. I don't think I did my hauls last week. It's just too hard with Morgana here. She's licking me. Yeah. Um, let's see here. And the blueberries, 218 ounces of blueberries. I'm getting attacked. It's just hurt. She's a turd. She's a turd. But we love her just the same. Kind of. All right, get down. Remember when I used to hold her in my lap? Yeah, well. Quit. I'm trying to talk. Um, I don't think it's that exciting, but I would recommend going to a channel or such that has really good um, finds on here so that you can find out like your Ibotta and your Shopkick and I don't remember the other one. All canned. Now JC is doing something interesting and they did this last year and I wasn't so hip on it but this year is not bad. They're going to have their watermelons for $2.77. I have two here um, I'm going to end up cutting all of my watermelon up this week and then getting a couple more for the following couple of weeks. That's how we roll here with watermelon. We eat it until we can't find it anymore. Um, now, they have a fresh Kentucky uh, ground beef for $4.99 a pound. Are you kidding me? If I can get the other for $1.79, no way. Okay. Um, now, they have wild-caught snow crab clusters. For $7.99 a pound, that might be a good, um, if you do crab legs, like we do seafood on New Year's Eve, be a good stock up for that. There is a Spin 40 Save 10, and that is still at Kroger as well. You're just going to have to look at your ad, go through your digitals, and they'll give you all of the information you need. Today is a really crazy day. I've got to get going. I'm behind. Ah, and Morgana wants out in the rain again. You'll have a great day. Hugs from a distance. Stay safe if you're going to shop. And we're moving forward with our chicken plans. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. Hit the bell. And let's make this channel grow because there's going to be exciting stuff going on later on. Not so much right now, but later there will be. See? Bright light. That's my idea. Goodbye, y'all.